excellencies, we are bringing in the Turkana of Mars, Rumba, Fox Tour for Eric Mormor, Kamancha is going to leave all of us. Yes, Kamancha.
sana atau mau itu udah kan itu gua gua kai ayah yuk yuk kau 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 na atas sana ini beda ya selesai itu muda tu beda kamu ini sama sama pada orang ini
wageni waheshimiwa kutoka nchi mbalimbali nchi uh, za kigeni Ethiopia, Uganda, South Sudan na Burundi na wengineo pia tunawasalimia sana watalii wetu ambao walisafiri kwa sababu ya Lore tunawakaribisha makatibu wenzangu Mheshimiwa Rais ningependa kuwatambulisha makatibu wenzangu ni wachache kuna katibu wa utamaduni utalii uh, John Olontwa ambaye amenisaidia sana katika hii event katibu wa immigration uh, Julius Bitoka Mbateda katibu wa devolution ama ugatuzi Teresia Mbaika katibu kutoka hapa nyumbani katibu katika idara ya kitaifa ya usafari wa meli na maswali ya, ya baharini jana we kutoka hapa nyumbani um, kaituko magavana gavana wa Turkana gavana wa Marsabit na wengineo wabunge women rep wa Turkana senator wa Turkana mimi nawasalimia wote county commissioner timu yake usalama pia amjambo Mtukufu Rais, hii jambo la Turkana uh, Tokomlore lina fursa nyingi za kubadilisha maisha ya wengi wanaishi hapa. Tamaduni zetu hapa Turkana ni utajiri tosha kama tutaamua kufanya kazi kwa pamoja na makaunti wenzi asili yetu, kunani utamaduni na pia kukuza mila zetu na kila sababu ya kujivunia hii Turkana na kuifanya izalishe nafasi nyingi za kazi kwa vijana kwa kuifanya moja wapo ya kuvutia kikuu cha utalii na kutokana na utamaduni wake kupitia wizara yetu na mwongozo wa rais wetu Dr. William Samuel Ruto tutahakikisha serikali inaweza inawezesha na inaweka nguvu zake zaidi sehemu hii ya jamii ifaidike na utamaduni wetu huu kumbukeni amani ikitawala mengi mazuri yataonekana katika eneo hii ya Turkana hamna mwingine atatoka nchi za nje ambaye atakuja kutuandikisha historia yetu kama wa Kenya kumbukeni mwachamila ni mtumwa. Kwa kipekee zaidi ningependa kushukuru kamati ya dalizi sherehe hii pamoja na kaunti government ya Turkana, state, county, state department of culture arts and heritage pamoja na wizara ya, uta, ya utalii na nyamapori tukikuwa tuki tuna tunakuwa chair ama tunaelekezwa na waziri mkuu hapa. Ningependa kuchukua hii fursa um, ya excellency president William Samuel Ruto kualika gavana wa hichi kaunti ya Turkana hadi atambulishe wenzake na pia tukaribishe kwenye kaunti yake karibu ya Excellency Okay asante sana yes wetu Ah uh, mheshimiwa rais pamoja na timu yako ya mawaziri ma PS wale wako hapa na wafanyikazi wengine e wa serikali kuu ah uh, mheshimiwa gavana jirani wa hapa Marsabit ambaye pia tunachea ah uh, le Turkana wabunge wetu wa Turkana Eh, sana cha eneo hili women rep wetu ishu na pia mbunge wa eneo hili mheshimiwa Joseph na Mare Mase ah uh, wafanyikazi wote wa county governor wetu wa Eastern Equatoria ambaye pia ni wa nchi jirani ya South Sudan alikuja hapa mapema na delegates wake wengi delegations kutoka Ethiopia delegations kutoka kule Nyamatom Ethiopia delegations mingi pia kutoka Baringo kutoka West Pokot jana hapa tumekuwa na gavana wa West Pokot 
rafiki yangu Gaddafi na wengine wengi kuna watukana kutoka la Espora kule Isiolo tuko na watukana kutoka la Kipia tuko na watukana kutoka la Kuru tuko na watukana kutoka county na moja wote wako hapa mahelufu ya watu kutoka uh, kule henje na ni watukana uh, mheshimiwa rais leo ni siku yako mimi kama gavana wa Turkana nimekuwa na nafasi mingi na watu wa Turkana kila mara tukenena mambo yetu mambo ya maendeleo leo hii ningependa tu kupeana nafasi kidogo kwa uh, mbunge wa Turkana ya kati mheshimiwa Namar asaidie ku introduce other members of parliament ambao wako hapa Uh, na yeye aseme tu kwa dakika moja senator dakika moja na wewe rep dakika moja tafadhali mheshimiwa na mwar kwa sababu rais anatakana afike kule Nairobi kwa wakati Asante sana msaiki gavana wetu wa Jimbo la Turkana Mheshimiwa Rais Nasema asante kwa kukuja hapa kama kawaida umekaribishwa pamoja na mashauri yako wale ambao unafanya nao kazi Mheshimiwa Rais kabla sijanena hapa tuko na wajumbe ambao wamekuja kututembelea pengine tu wakuja wasalimie na waweze kusema kidogo na waketi wa kwanza wacha ni mlete mheshimiwa Julius Taitumu ambaye ni MP wa Ikembe Lord asimame tu tafadhali makofi pili tuko na mjumbe wa Kinango anaitwa Kwenya Thuku yuko hapo Asante. Na kuna wale wengine pengine ningeweza kuwatambulisha tu kwa sababu ya muda. Kuna mheshimiwa wa West Pokot, woman rep wa West Pokot, mheshimiwa Rael Kaziwai. Tafadhali. Asante. Tuko na mheshimiwa kutoka kule Tanarifa. Woman rep anaitwa Amina Dika. Asante. Tuko pia na maseneta. Seneta wa Laikipia yuko hapa. Madam Jane Kagiri nafikiri tu kwa sababu ya wale ambao wamejitembelea kuja tafadhali uniene moja tafadhali Asante sana Your Excellency the President Dr William Samoe Ruto Governors tulio nao hapa Cabinet Ministers na sisi zote tulio hapa Mata Mata nabo na 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 kipro Yesu a uh, jina langu ni Jen Kagiri na mimi ni Akimat wa Laikipia County na leo hii nimekuja kuwakilisha watu wa Laikipia na kwanza niseme wale wametoka Laikipia mko hapa pungeni mikono tuonekane Laikipia ijulikane iko huku Asante sana Your Excellency the President yangu ni moja tu ni kukushukuru Jumula mwaka uliopita tulikuja na wewe huku Turkana. Nikasikiza wakasema usalama haikuwa mzuri. Leo hii nimeulizia ulizia nimeambiwa usalama inaendelea kuimarika. Kwa hivyo your excellence the president endelea hivyo na Mungu atakubariki na watu wa Turkana watasaidika zaidi. Ya mwisho ni kusema your excellence the president tulikuomba uondoe ile beti tulipokuwa hapa mwaka ulioisha. Asante sana your excellency the president juu veti kwa watu kana wetu uliondoa na leo hii hakuna veti kwa yoyote akienda kutafuta kitambulisho. Ya mwisho your excellency pale wimbo imeigwa na mimi huwezi ni uh, nisengenya ukitumia kitukana. Kwa hivyo walisema kuna njaa huku Turkana na yule tu anaweza iondoa ni his excellency Dr. William Samoe Ruto. Your Excellency kama huko umesikia hiyo hao watu wote wanakuamini na
na wanajua wewe ndio utawasaidia ya mwisho kabisa asajeni wajukana ila mwaka ingine mlinipatia jina mkasema alimli ndio jina yangu sasa leo sijui kama ni mbuzi ama ngombe mtanipatia asajeni sana Mungu awabariki asante mheshimiwa rais eh, hapa tuko na delegates kutoka Uganda wa Jumbe chungu nzima wasimame tu tafadhali 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 ndugu zangu ni tuwakaribishe wana Uganda asante mheshimiwa rais hapa tuko na mjumbe wa Turkana Nord akuje mjumbe wa Turkana Nord Makofi tafadhali Ya Excellency tunashukuru tunakaribisha Turkana jambo moja tu nataka kukuambia kwa sababu ya wakati Ya Excellency kuna shida la Turkana na hiyo shida imeletwa na uadui kati ya KWS na fishermen Fishermen wa Turkana sisi wafanyi fishing wametoroka kwa sababu wakionekana kwa lake wanapigwa risasi na kuuliwa. Tumesika watu karibu ishirini Turkana no. Mimi sijui ile ya Turkana Central, pengine hata hao ni ishirini. Kuna shida kubwa sana. Na naomba kwa Your Excellency uangalie hiyo maneno kwa sababu tumeleta bunge pamoja pamoja na mheshimiwa lakini hatujapata majibu sawa sawa na hata ile majibu imeletwa ni ya madharau naomba ya excellence uingilie hiyo maneno asante sana mungu mheshimiwa protas akuja tafadhali asante sana your excellence your excellence karibu nyumbani na mimi niko na furaha kuona siku ya leo na ni asanti sana kufika hapa kujumuika nasi. Your Excellency, sisi tunafurahi kama Turkana na kama mwakilishi wa Weima, mimi tunafurahi sana sababu ni taifa la Mikai. Turkana County inafurahi sababu kuna wafanyakazi ambao wako kwa serikali senior uh, government official sita wako kwa serikali yako. Uh, watatu ni ambassadors, mmoja ni waziri, mwingine ni PS na mwingine hapo kwa ofisi yako huko State House. In the history atujapata nafasi kama hiyo asante sana. Your Excellency ningependa pia kusema eh usitusahau kwa mambo ya men in uniform. Men in uniform wetu ni kama wamesahaulika kidogo. Tunataka kusonga mpaka huko kwa general. Ndio hata sisi kama watukana sababu sisi tuna tuna board tuna chuka boda. Tuna boda ya Uganda, na chuka boda ya South Sudan, na chuka boda ya Ethiopia. So watu wetu naye kwa huwe uko pale mbele. Your Excellency, sisi hatuna mabi ya kusema sababu siku ile tuliniana benki hapa, kuna stone project ambayo siku hapa, tafadhali Your Excellency utuambie hiyo maana na gani. Your Excellency, hao watu naona hapa wengi wao ni hustlers. Na mpaka juzi wakapenduka wakakuwa JNC sababu hawana kazi. Tafadhali ningependa Your Excellency utuletee kazi mtaani ili watu wafanye kazi na wafurahi. Thank you very much. Asante mheshimiwa Protas Waloima, tafadhali sana ndugu daktari Yariko. And your excellency Dr. William Samoei Ruto, mimi kwanza nataka kushukuru wewe. Umefanya rekodi hapa Turkana kwa mara ya kwanza tunaweza kupata three ambassadors. And two of those ambassadors come from my country. Thank you your excellency. Ya pili, Your Excellency tuko na shida baina ya Turkana specifically the three constituencies of Turkana County baina ya West Pokot na Turkana please Your Excellency tafuta nafasi ya kukalisha sisi viongozi wa West Pokot na wa Turkana so that we can just finish this business of government Your Excellency karibu nyumbani baba alisema mimi nikaribishe Your Excellency hapa Turkana Tukana tunasema wewe na baba. Thank you, Your Excellency. Mheshimiwa wa Tukana East Nicholas Ngor. Mheshimiwa Rais. Kwanza kabisa
kabisa mimi ningechukua nafasi kwa niaba ya watu wa Tukana Majariki nikukaribishe hapa Tukana. Mheshimiwa Rais, mimi sitakuwa na mengi kwa sababu wakati nilikuwa kule Ikulu wewe ulipatia kazi. Na ulikuwa na gavana wetu na wabunge wenzangu. Na kazi hiyo ilikuwa ni kazi ya kuwa agent yako mkuu katika county kwa ile kura iko mbele yetu ya mwaka wetu mbili na ishirini na saba na kazi hiyo nimeanza na nimeanza kule tulikuwa na majaribu mheshimiwa rais kuna yale nilisema hapa siku ile ulikuwa hapa tento bongolore mwaka jana juu ya barabara kutoka ya Kamalingo Junction kule Baringo ipitie Kapedo ipitie na Peyton ipitie Lokoli na ingie kwa hii barabara kuu hapo Lotte mheshimiwa rais tafadhali hiyo barabara ikifanyika hata maneno ya amani itapatikana katika eneo hilo. Mheshimiwa Rais kuna maneno kuna kitu ulieleza watu wa Tukana Majaribu wakati ulikuwa minister ya agriculture wakati ya serikali ya Nzumukati na hiyo ni ile damu ya Allah wata damu ilikuwa ni project yako wakati ulikuwa waziri ukaingia ukawa deputy president na saa hizi wenyewe ndio uko na kikungua hiyo damu Mheshimiwa Rais Safari siku hii siku ya leo tafadhali tulitoka hapa mimi nataka nikitoka hapa sitalala hapa lodwa ningependa kusafiri moja kwa moja hadi kule Turkana Majariki na nieleze watu wa Turkana Majariki hapo hapa maneno ya njaa Mheshimiwa Rais amemaliza kwa sababu ya watadamu ilikuwa ni mradi yako na naomba kwa nyenyekevu tafadhali utupanie damu ili watu wa huko wapate chakula mwaka miaka na miaka rudi na miaka enda hiyo itakuwa ni hoja yako kubwa katika eneo la Tukana County. Asante sana na karibu Tukana tena. Mheshimiwa Daniel, karibu. Mheshimiwa Rais, Jamhuri ya Kenya, Daktari William Ruto pamoja na wote ambao wamejumuika siku ya leo. Mheshimiwa Rais mtakuwa na mambo mawili mafupi. Asante kwa kuja. Unaona vile umati umejaa. Na watu wanafurahi kila mara wakati wewe uko hapa. Mheshimiwa Rais, jambo ambalo nataka kusema ni hili. Sisi tungependa kukaa na wewe Tungependa ukae ulale hapa. Tumezoea kukuona siku mbili siku tatu. Tangu uwe rais najua kazi imeongezeka na Kenya yote na kuitaji lakini usitusahau. Kuja lala hapa. Kuna wazee wangependa kuongea na wewe. Kuna wamama wangependa kukupata. Wazee wa kanisa wangependa kuongea na wewe na viongozi wa tabaka mbalimbali. Utupe wakati mwingine rais ya pili na niketi Mheshimiwa Rais kwa miaka hii siwezi sema tano kwa miaka ya uongozi yako kumi ambayo tunatarajia mbili imeenda mbele sisi kama jamii ya Turkana tunaomba wewe ufanye jambo ambalo itagawa sisi na jambo na njaa katika kaunti hii Mambo ya food security mheshimiwa rais wewe umesikia namna na vile mheshimiwa Kagiri alielewa mambo ya Turkana walikuwa wanasema ati wewe ndio dawa ya njaa wetu hapa kwa namna gani lo watdam wewe ulipanga lakini haituoni ikitembea lo tikipi wewe ulisema unafanya jambo kwa hivyo ukituambia hapa kwamba unatengeneza mikakati hiyo Tungependa ifanyike kwa wakati wako kwa sababu tunaona ni wakati ambao unafaa. Haya ndio ningesema. Karibu tena, karibu Turkana. Asante. Asante mheshimiwa rais wote niseme moja. Alafu nipishe wale ambao ni seneta na ume wetu. Mheshimiwa rais jambo ambalo ningesema ya kwanza ni kwamba nikukushukuru sana. Pengine hatuwezi tukasema haya yote mengi mazuri umetutendea. 
lakini wakati ulikuwa naibu wa rais ulituletea projects tatu hapa ulituletea barabara ndio hii ambayo inaelekea kule South Sudan ukatuletea Tukara University College na pia ukatuletea irrigation schemes mbili kule Nauros na Nadoto mheshimiwa rais hiyo yote imezaa matunda barabara saa hii tuko na projects ya ICT hubs tuko na mashule tuko na dispensaries tuko na lorry parks mingi along the highway paka kule Lokchokyo tuko na projects pili mheshimiwa rais juzi vile umekuwa president rais umetuletea pesa ya Nauros na Nadoto irrigation scheme zinaendelea na pia mheshimiwa rais vile umekuwa rais kuna mahali hapa tuko na central haijawahi kuwa na tone la maji mahali inaitwa Kalko mheshimiwa rais ukienda Nairobi ile siku utarudi tu hapa kabla ya Disemba wale watu kama utawafungulia maji na tayari imefika kule Kalko watashukuru sana kwa sababu tangu dunia iungwe hawajawahi pata maji ambayo ni sustainable na mheshimiwa rais na kushukuru sana kwa hiyo project Mheshimiwa Rais hapa tuko na voters wawili ambao umewapeleka kazi nje. Mmoja ni PS huyu wetu Kaituko tunakushukuru sana. Na mwingine ni UN permanent representative kule New York. Hao wote ni voters wangu ninakushukuru sana Mheshimiwa Rais. Asante. Na pia siwezi kusahau huyu dada Asu. Mheshimiwa Rais you have broken the ceiling. Hii ni mara ya kwanza mtoto msichana turkana kuwa CS. Mtemoguna wa mtemoguna. Mheshimiwa Rais, nasema asante. Tumezungumza, umetuletea shilingi milioni mia tisa ya kuleta hii stima kutoka Lokichar na ikuje hapa Lodwa na tungekuomba zaidi Mheshimiwa Rais, utupikishie kaloko. Tutasema asante kwa sababu kule kuna kiwanda ama factory ya samaki kule karokon ambayo tungetaka uweze kusindua. Mheshimiwa Rais, siwezi nikasema mengi kwa sababu wakati ulikuwa hapa nilikuomba pesa ya Bishop Mount Teachers Training College. Hiyo college imepata milioni 19 ile ulikuwa umesema utatupatia tayari inatumika na Lodo High School ulitupatia shilingi milioni tano na inafanya kazi. Asante sana Mheshimiwa Rais hiyo ni kazi ambayo tunaangalia ya kwamba serikali inatujali na tutasimama kidete na wewe. Itemo kuna wa njoko kuna. Mheshimiwa Rais. Hapa kuna ziwa Turkana. Wakati Indian Ocean ama Coastal Development Authority inafanya kazi, Lake Victoria Development Authority inafanya kazi, hapa hatuna authority. Tungekuomba sana utuwe tuwe na Lake Turkana Development Authority. Mheshimiwa Rais, ati wanasema hapa samaki kufa kwa sababu ya umri. When the fish ages inakufa. Maybe because we are not exploiting this resource. Na tungekuomba sana sisi ungetupatia ferry tutakuwa tunafika kwa governor hata angekuwa anaenda barabara ya Nairobi, angekuwa tu anaingia kwa ferry na kuingia Marsabit. Mheshimiwa Rais, tutakushukuru sana. Na pia Mheshimiwa Rais barabara ya kutufikisha sisi Marsabit na Samburu inahitajika sana. Kama ferry itakuwa imechelewa, utiletee tu barabara hata kama ni ile hadro tugonge tuweze kufika Samburu na tuweze kufika hapa Marsabit kwa urahisi sana. Mheshimiwa Rais, nasema asante. Tumezungumza maneno ya Jeremia kushikana na wewe mikono. Hiyo imeisha. Ukote nipo nipote imeisha mabado Jeremia kumi, Ruto ngapi kumi. Oriai nipote nipo nipote eje na mwaje bas tatu ngakini mwani karuto ya darit moja mtuwa ya utamro amro na azkul oriai ne ne mere 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 ya amro alaki mtuwa ya utamro ni aruto tuzikate tena kona kwa sababu tukipata kona tunakutana na Ruto. Tunakata hapa tunakutana na Ruto. Sasa sisi sia kile yetu kisha. Basi asante sana Mungu na kubariki Mheshimiwa Rais ukirudi salimia watu wa Kenya, salimia watu wa Nairobi. 
Mungu na aweze kukubariki. Karibu mheshimiwa Umare wetu wa Turkana County. Mapofu tafadhali. Amina. Asante sana mheshimiwa rais nachukua fursa hii kukukaribisha wewe pamoja na mawaziri wako PSS na wafanyikazi wote wa serikali kuu pamoja na wakazi wa Turkana kwa hafla hii ya Tobolore ambayo ni siku yetu muhimu kwa community ya Ateke mheshimiwa rais hiki kikao kuna watu kutoka jamii mbalimbali kuna waturkana kutoka counties more than 21 kuna watu kutoka Ethiopia, kuna watu kutoka South Sudan, kuna watu kutoka Uganda. Na watu hawa na sisi tunaongea nao lugha moja. Ni ukweli kwamba hapa ndio mankind, cradle of mankind. Ndio sababu wa Turkana wana host 45 nationalities. Ukule vijiji camp tunaishi karibu na taifa more than 45. Kwa hivyo sisi ni watu wa karibu mheshimiwa rais ni ile tu kiangazi saa zingine ndio huwa inatuumiza. Mheshimiwa rais siku ya leo mimi sitaki kurudia yale wenzangu wamesema. Wamesahau tu kusema mambo ya Turkana University. Last time mheshimiwa rais ukiwa hapa ulisema ukikuja utatupea chata ya Turkana University. Mheshimiwa rais na hiyo chata inamaanisha mambo mengi. Inamaanisha watu wetu kwenda shuleni kwa wingi na waturkana hawa hasa kupata kazi kwa hiyo university. Kwa hivyo wewe tunakujua kama kusema na kutenda wakati wetu wa URP. Kwa hivyo tunajua lazima uko reloaded utakuja hapa kutoa hiyo chata sahi. Alafu last time tuliongea maneno ya, ya mambo ya stima. Mumesikia aki address town already nimeona maposti za stima zina dropiwa zimefika Kasuroi. Sile za smiti. Hiyo inamaanisha stima inakuja. Na mimi truly wenu hapa ninakaa katika kamati ya energy. Mimi ninaipa nyimbo za Turkana na nyimbo za Kenya pale. Kwa hivyo tuko sawa sawa. Mheshimiwa Rais, mambo ya bahari ya Turkana, maneno ya KWS na Waturkana, hiyo ndio nataka kuongeza sauti yangu. Haitakuwa vyema askari wenye wanafaa kutulinda sisi wanaweka wanyama mbele kuliko binadamu wa Turkana. Wanapita waturkana risasi na wameenda tuko kutafuta samaki mheshimiwa rais. Hao samaki wakiseka kule hata wasaidii hawa. Si waache fisha na wa kule hiyo samaki na waruse hizo vitu kwani kwenye iko kwa hiyo samaki. Kwa hivyo watu wa KWS wametuulia watu kwa wingi. Sisi mheshimiwa rais tutahusunika kama jamii. Leo ukija hapa ongea wewe ni amiri jeshi mkuu wa majeshi yote ya Kenya. Alafu mwisho kabisa Mheshimiwa Rais tuko na furaha vile unaunganisha wa Kenya. Wakati ulichaguliwa kama president, haimaanishi wale wenye ulipingana na wao sio watu kutosha. Asante sana na tunakuombea Mungu aendelee kukupea hiyo hekima. Kenya tunataka kushukuru pia hapa Turkana ni kwamba huyu mheshimiwa gavana Jeremiah Kamais anajaribu kutia juhudi ya kuleta viongozi wote pamoja. Na mimi nataka kuomba viongozi. Hii kitu Hakuna siku tutakuwa na president wawili at a time. Hakuna siku tutakuwa na governor wawili at a time. Hakuna deputy women rep, hakuna deputy senator. Wakati hawa watu watachagua wenye watachagua, hiyo ndio wili ya Mungu na lazima tukubaliane nayo. Mimi nimeenda. Kama umeleta wadepe, mimi nimeenda. Hata hiyo sio uongozi uko na issue tutakuwa na issue na Mungu. Mheshimiwa rais kwa maneno ya maendeleo. Mheshimiwa Rais kwa maneno ya maendeleo. Turkana kwa mara ya kwanza tumeanza kuisi part of Kenya. Kwa mara ya kwanza tumeanza kuisi sisi ni wa Kenya. Wakati tunapewa ambassadors tena unapeleka kwa important countries. Wakati unatupea waziri tena unaweka kwa ministry ya maana. Sisi tunashukuru sana. Sisi tunashukuru sana ya excellence kama jamii ya Waturkana. Na hatujasema atiishi hapo kuna watu hapa baada wana makazi. Mwenyezi hapa hapa ana kazi, Lodepe ana kazi, watu wengi hapa wana makazi na tunajua mtawapanga wewe ni mtu kupanga watu. Asante sana mheshimiwa rais, wacha nichukue fursa hii kukaribisha Senator Lomenen akuje aseme moja. Hey, 
ya excellency na viongozi wengine ambao huko hapa siku ya leo napenda kutambua Mwenyezi Mungu akiwa hapa akiambia nyinyi kwamba Bwana azifiwe Ebrayezo kibro na 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 bas kabla sielelea ya excellency naomba kwa heshima mingi kwamba kuna mkubwa wa hii kaunti mkubwa sana na anaitwa speaker wa kaunti ya Semili ndugu yangu na ali Asante sana asante sana nitaalika yeye ndugu yangu Christopher na Kuleu akuje na pia siku hiyo nafasi kukaribisha senators wa kubwa wangu ambao wako hapa najua senators hiyo mchezo sisi ni wale wa Supreme Court Excellency ningependa kuchukua nafasi hii kukaribisha kaunti ya Turkana kwa sababu ya muda ningependa kusimamisha members of county assembly wale wapo hapa kutoka county ya Turkana na neighboring counties msimame tu then you will Ah asante Yesterday we are going to talk about presence of uh, deputy governors of the following sub counties. Sub ni uh, counties. County of West Pokot. Mr. Robert Komone. County of Isiolo. Dr. Lowaza. Na Robert County of Kukana. Deputy governor Dr. Rus. Yangu nitakuwa mmoja. Sijapenda kuongeza mengi. Kwa sababu mambo ya Kenya yamesemwa. Mambo ya Lektukana na KWS yamesemwa. Mambo ya Security yamesemwa. Kwanza ningependa kushukuru kwa kupeana nafasi nyingi sana katika serikali yako kwa jamii ya Turkana. Ni mara ya kwanza sisi kupata ambassadors tatu in a row then principal secretary pia tungependa kushukuru my appeal ni hii kuna watu hapa wangependa kutusaidie tungependa tuwasaidie ndio mambo ya mipaka na mambo ya siasa yako pia iweze kuimarika your excellency ningependa kukuomba mheshimiwa nakara your excellency mimi najua uko na mpango lakini pia ameumia kiazi. Tafutie kazi hiyo excellence. Mtu ya pili ni mheshimiwa Mwenyezi. Patie kazi hata kama ni ile ya peace ambassador ile imesemwa. Ni mzee wetu tunamshukuru na tunamheshimu. Patie kazi na tutazalia na hiyo kazi yako. Those who remarks your excellence ningependa kupeana mic Peana mai kwa Senator Lomenen aendelee kutoka hapo. Asante na bwana asifiwe. Ye yeah, excellency, mimi naendelea kutoka hapo. Speaker alisema ametaja wale wandugu ambao wanataka kuandika kasi. Sasa ninaongeza kwamba wale ambao wamesaulika. Wale ambao wamesaulika ambao wamesoma kumbuka hata wale pia waandike pengine majina yamesahulika lakini wako ya ine ya excellency kuna senators wenzangu ambao wako hapa kwa sababu ya wakati kwa sababu ya heshima yako mimi ningeatambua wasimame tu mahali wako ndugu yangu mandako salimia watu wa Turkana hapo piga makofi hapana heshima haya ndugu yangu Komishina Seneta Wanyamira Omgeni Aya makofi tafadhali sana Asante Kuna mwingine mwenye kama kuna mwingine mmesahau Hakuna eh? mwingine Your Excellency 
Mimi sina maneno mengi. Mimi nimetumwa na mama mboga. Nimetumwa na mama ya makaa. Nimetumwa na mama ya busa. Nimetumwa na mama Your Excellency, wa mama ya mboga wamesema kwamba wamekumini sana. Pata wakati ukuje kama utakosa nafasi ya kukuja hapa uwaite wa mama ya mboga wakuje state house wajue kitu na hicho state house na wapatie mboga ya kutosha. Your Excellency, wa mama ambao ambao ana choma makaa. Ukiangalia Turkana kuanzia la Mnyeuzi mpaka Lokichogyo utapata makaa peke yake ndio industry. Ye excellency wa hawa mama wamenituma kwamba wamechoka kuchoma makaa. Wamesema kwamba kushinda kuchoma makaa tunataka kupanda miti. Na kupanda miti wanasema kwamba gundia moja ya makaa miti moja na maji. Kwa hivyo wanasema kwamba patia wa contract ya kuchimba ya kupanda miti na maji ili wapate kitu kidogo alafu maneno ya makaa hakuna. Ya excellency jambo la mwisho ni kwamba eh, mifugo ya Turkana mifugo ya Turkana ya excellency ni mifugo ya maana sana. Kwa sababu ya uwisi ya mifugo, kwa sababu ya manana wa drought, mifugo mingi inakufa. Watu wanapoteza mifugo, yu excellence kwa sababu na amini serikali yako. Serikali ya kusema na kutenda, tunataka hiyo maneno ya mifugo ya kuibiwa ambaye vyo chukulia kwa manana ya drought, tupatia kitu na isuwa insurance. Ngamia, ngamia yu excellency, ngamia moja inashinda hata probox moja. Kwa hivyo ukiona mutu hako na ngamia tano, hako na probox tano. Na hiyo probox tano, ikishamulua yu excellency, hiyo bomba inabaki masikini, hata ukileta ilipa itoshi. Yu excellency ni kimalisa. Shida ya hapa yu excellency, wale yenzi wa hapa. Mimi nataka kukuelezea siri ya leo. Siri ya kwanza ya excellency, ninaomba katika jina la Yesu. Tafutia sisi ile watu wale marafiki yetu wa Norad. Wale watu wa Norad ambao walikuwa wamejenga Turkana, siyo chetani katokezea wapi? Akawafukuza. Kwa hivyo ni mtu wa Yesu, tunasema kwamba rudisha Norad, rudisha hapa, wamalize ya factory ya wamalize ya factory ya Hello kol. Tijana wapata kazi. Wamalize Lomidat. Tijana wapata kazi. Wamalize tena rile kwa hapa ya ngozi. Tijana wamalize kazi. Wamalize wajenge refinery. Naam na je unajenga refinery. Wajenge refinery. Hapo Lokshire. Tijana wapata kazi na wengine. Wengine ya excellence. Kama watakosa kazi, watakuwa security. Unaweka hapa NPR. Wao wamesomea NPR naturally wanajua maana ya NPR hata hakuna kupeleka training Asante ye excellence mimi najua amani ni kitu bora amani ni Mungu na Mungu ni amani ukitupatia amani kwa majirani yetu sisi wa mama mheshimiwa rais wacha tupeane nafasi kwa gavana wetu jirani wa Marsabit dakika moja Rais yako na haraka kutoka. Basi watu wa Turkana mata 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 na bo. Your Excellency eh, kiongozi wa taifa. Mimi na furaha sana kuwa hapa na wewe siku ya leo. Na niko hapa kwa niaba ya county ya Marsabit na vile vile kwa niaba ya FCDC counties county kumi eh, ambazo ni sehemu kame ya taifa letu ambapo hata Turkana iko kati ya hiyo FCDC block 
kwa niaba ya hizo counties mimi nakushukuru sana kwa sababu kila wakati tunakualika sehemu hii eh marais mbeleni wale walikutangulia walikuwa wanatembea sehemu hii wakati ya kutafuta kura peke yake lakini wewe katika miaka miwili tayari county hii ya Turkana umekuja mara mbili na vile vile umetembea kote sehemu hii kame katika taifa letu hiyo ni jambo ya busara endelea kuunganisha taifa letu na sisi tunakuombea na tuko na wewe kila wakati only two things your excellency because of time these two counties marsabit and, uh, and turkana we share this great lake lake turkana which is the only desert lake it is a tourist tourist attraction itself because this is the only desert lake in the world i want to thank you for forming that task force for marketing or to market kenya as a tourist destination and marketing kenya as home or origin of uh, human beings marsabit and turkana being one of them your excellency the only problem we have and this we said last time and one of the speakers has repeated here if you kindly consider actualizing this ferry services between turkana and marsabit counties we shall forever be indebted your excellency to your government that is my kind appeal on behalf of these two counties finally your excellency on behalf of the fcdc counties which form over 60% of this country the best legacy you can make or you can leave behind for kenya is to ensure that water is available in this dry parts of the country you have visionary leadership where you have considered dams to be done in the whole nation if you give priority to this arid and semi arid areas that is the best legacy you will have left for the people of kenya and the people of this region with those few remarks thank you very much na ujisikie huko nyumbani asante sana asante governor uh, your excellency uh, with us here we have the minister in charge of karamoja affairs uh, honorable lokeris I just want to identify you just stand so that the minute the, the, the president sees you yesterday you, you had a long time just come come and say hi to the president your excellency and also you are also my Girani. Because you are Kalenjin and I'm opposite the Kalenjin. Your Excellencies who are here, all people who have come, protocol observed. Your Excellency, I bring you sincere greetings from your colleague, His Excellency General Mbuseveni. He is really greeting you very sincerely. We know the yellow colors we have, we have the same. And we appreciate you for that. Your Excellency, these occasions we have followed have a long history which I will not tell you. And we are very happy all the time, whenever we do all of them, you are happy with them. At the time when we started, we had given um, say Aram Moy to be our patron. When he left, we didn't get any other patron. If your excellency, you can accept, we shall come one time and canonize you as a patron of the Atchaker communities. <laughs> and I'm very sure you will be willing. In your own standing as head of state is known throughout East Africa, throughout Africa and the world. We are indeed very proud of you and other colleagues of yours. Your Excellency, 
it is so gratifying that these people of ours who have been fighting have seen the badness of fighting. And with the magnanimity of His Excellency President Museveni, he says we cannot refuse you the grass. We don't eat grass. The cows which eat grass. And you cannot be happy to hear a neighbor's cows getting finished. That's why we are monizing the way of moving to Uganda. We are doing that so that these people go harmoniously with the peace. They must be protected there and they must be protected here. Your Excellency, I hear uh, that the time is about, uh, you know, the set. Next time, if you give me a chance, I will come and tell you a lot in Nairobi. Thank you, Your Excellency. Okay, thank you. We also have the Governor for Eastern Equatoria, Honorable His Excellency Louis Lobon. Just one minute for Louis Lobon. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, the Cabinet Secretaries, the Governor of Turkana and the Governors who have attended this occasion, all protocol observe. Your Excellency, I would like to bring warm greetings from your brother, President Salva Kiri Mayadi. <clears throat> President Salva Kiri also wishes the members of the Atakir who are celebrating this culture, peaceful culture called to Bangalore, to wish them all well. Your Excellency, some times back, you invited me and my friend here to Eldoret. And you instructed us, that it was an orders, that you want to see the communities living along the border of Kenya and South Sudan in peace. And that they should be moving, interacting with one another. I would like now to announce to you, if you sent your envoy to go and see what is happening at the border now, you will find the Turkwana and the Toposa peacefully coexisting, moving day and night. And this is goes to the leadership of Turkwana County and the political leaders of Turkwana across. They have been involved. Uh, those of Munoz have been spending nights in the bushes there, ensuring that the cattle that were being stolen are returned. Your Excellency, my only appeal is that it is now up to the governments of these four countries, Republic of Uganda, Kenya, Federal Republic of Ethiopia, Republic of South Sudan, to provide these communities the facilities that they need, the water and other services so that they peacefully coexist, so that they allow you, the leaders of this region, to think something beyond so that you invite investors to come and invest in this region. Your Excellency, the chairman of the Atakari community have already hinted to you that will be coming and visit you in Nairobi. We are here three. We, the Honorable Okeris is the chairman. I am the, the first deputy. And then Honorable Munoz is the second deputy. We will be coming and bringing you what we had proposed. Would you still remark, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Uh, Your Excellency, I know uh, time is not on our side. Ningependa uh, tu kusema kwamba kukupatia report kuhusu ili amani mwesimiwa 
eh, Governor for Eastern Kotori wamesema uh, ile wakati tulikuwa tumekuja kule eh, wasinigishu uh, kwa Eldoret State Lord uliniambia mimi na mheshimiwa speaker na mheshimiwa Lobong na viongozi wengine tuhakikishe kwamba mpaka wetu watu wanaishi kwa amani leo hii na hiyo ndio mheshimiwa Lobong alikuwa anapeana Ah uh, Mheshimiwa Lobong na mwenzake uh, chini yake Commissioner Lokeno wameweka amani ya kudumu tangu sisi viongozi wa hapa tukaanza kwenda kwake kuongea na yeye ili kuimplement ile agenda wewe ulituambia sisi tufanye watu watukana sasa hivi wa Lokichogyo wa kule Kakuma wanaendelea kuingia kule Eastern Kotoria na pia kuendelea kwenda kule Juba kwa namba ambayo ni kubwa zaidi kujitafutia hali yao ya maisha. Kwa hivyo asante sana uh, Louis Lobong. Na pia ningependa kushukuru I want to thank our good friend uh, the minister for Karamoja Affairs. Uh, I think there is the signing of the resource sharing agreement. Na ningependa kuomba wewe kama rais wetu kwamba sisi tulianzisha kuandika agreement na viongozi wa kule eh, Karamoja tukisaidiana na huyu waziri wa Karamoja Affairs wabunge wetu wote wakiwa eh, na tukakubaliana kwa kauli moja tutume kwako ili uweke either iwe MOU ama agreement lakini ulitukubalia kwamba iwe agreement sisi tunataka wewe na mwenzako uh, Yoweri Kaguta Museveni rais wetu jirani to sign your resource sharing agreement ili eh, pastoral is wetu waweze kwenda kule Uganda wengine waende hata Sudan waende kule West Pokot na waende kwa Pokot wa Uganda ili tupate nyasi na maji na hao pia waje kwetu kupata the same kwa hivyo nataka kushukuru sisi tunaendelea vizuri kwa mambo ya amani kwa mipaka yetu mpaka kule Todonyang Ethiopia nadhani leo hii ni siku yako Nataka kushukuru kwa sababu ya mambo mengi umetuambia pale mambo ya service chata kuna mambo utasema na pia siku ile ulikuwa umeahidi watu fulani watuletee stima kutoka kule Lorokon ikuje iende mpaka Kalokon pia ume hayo utatuambia nataka mwisho kukushukuru kwa sababu ya wale watu watukana umeandika kazi mwanzo kabisa uliandika kijana Jofri ya nakaituko kwa PS na pia ukaandika mheshimiwa former governor wetu na Nok Josphat kule state house na pia ukatupatia vijana wengine kama ambassadors na saidi wakati tulikuwa tunasukuma erastas lokale juzi tukiwa New York tuliweza kukaa na erasta nikaona kweli erastas ako New York na yale mambo alikuwa anatenda nikaona anakaa kama deputy president kwa sababu anafanya mambo mengi anakutana na marais kulingana na vile wewe umemweka sisi tunakushukuru sana mheshimiwa rais na majuzi umetupatia dada yetu askul kupitia kwa ule agreement yako na mwenzako eh, the former eh, eh, the former askul sasa hako hapa na ni minister wa kwanza na ni minister wa kwanza kwa wanawake wa Turkana na kwa wanawake ya wafugaji na sisi kama Turkana tunashukuru tunashukuru sana kwa hivyo sisi bado tunahitaji leo hii mheshimiwa mwenyezi na timu yake wako hapa ni na nilikwambia na wewe utafanya hiyo anataka kufanya mambo fulani hapa na wewe ndio utapreside mambo hayo ili mheshimiwa Mwenyezi aingie kwa chama cha UDA asaidiane na wewe kazi kazi ya kuhakikisha tumejanga chama cha UDA katika kaunti hii ya Turkana na maisha yaende mbele pia mheshimiwa nakara hako hapa na kijana yule Dani ulikuwa ameambia sakaja awe director katika Nairobi e county pia na hako hapa na uliahidi utawasaidia na umesema utawapanga nadhani kwa hayo mengi kwa sababu ya wakati mimi nitabaki hapa naendelesha hii program paka kesho kwa hivyo nitapata nafasi ya kuendelea na viongozi hawa ili tupate kuendesha mambo ya Tobong Lore kwa heshima 
wangapi wamefurahi kwa kukuja kwa rais wetu hapa mi natakuona Asante na Mungu na kubariki wewe sana. Kwa hivyo nadhani I will give it to the other protocol. Asante sana Mheshimiwa Rais kabla sijasema jambo moja nitamwalika mwenzangu waziri wa East Africa Beatrice a school asalimie watu wa Turkana. Asante mheshimiwa rais. Niko mahali hapa pamoja na wageni waliokuja nawe kutoka sehemu zote za Afrika Mashariki na wakaribisha wote kwa sababu hapa ndiyo nyumbani. Kwa wale wamesikia mambo wa school a school mimi nimesikia mheshimiwa rais mambo ni hayo. Na nikisema wazi kwamba mimi pia nashukuru na nikisema wazi kwamba mimi pia nashukuru kwa sababu vile ulikuwa unaniapisha ulisema wazi kwamba umenijua zaidi ya miaka ishirini hii ni area na we mwenyewe wajua vyema waelewa vyema siasa ya Turkana na sisi wenyewe tuko hapa tukishaamua kukata na wewe kona tunakata na wewe vizuri umekuwa mheshimiwa ukikata kona na watu tofauti lakini kwa sasa hivi ukikata kona na sisi na kwa sababu ya mawasiliano yako na baba. Kwa sababu ya mawasiliano yako na baba. Hii Kenya ni kubwa kuliko kila na moja. Na nikisimama hapa ninasema ninaongelesha watu ambao mimi mwenyewe nawaelewa. Mimi najua kazi yenye umeanza kwa kuniteua msichana wa kike kaunti hii kwa mawasiliano yenu ni kuambia mheshimiwa rais mambo hapa yatabadilika. We weka tu sisi tunaweka tik. Najua si hatupendi kuongea mambo mingi mingi ile tuna nyama sanga hivi na tukiamua twende tunaenda iwe mvua iwe jua tutahama na wewe tukiamua kulingana na yale tutakao tumesema mheshimiwa rais na ujui mambo ya kuteua msichana wa kike kaunti Kenya inamaanisha mheshimiwa rais wa mama wote ambao wamekuwa na watoto wa kike wanaambia watoto soma uwe kama school soma kama uwe school so already umetenda kitu kwa manyata pale kwa mashule za bweni mashule za mzingi sawa wasichana wanasema tunataka kuwa kama school kwa hivyo mambo haya umejenga kaunti ya Turkana umejenga sehemu hii kwa upande wa mtoto wa kike na kwa sababu wanaume wamejipanga mheshimiwa rais nikiwa tu mtoto wa hapa wacha niongee kidogo kama mtoto wa hapa mi nasema tu wa mama pia wengi wameitimu ninasema tu wasichana wa kike wengi wameitimu katika mambo haya mheshimiwa rais wacha tuseme ulete kijana ulete msichana ulete mama ulete mzee kwa mambo haya kwa sababu kura yake na mama kauntini asilimia hamsini na sita kweli ama si kweli na hawa pia wanahitaji kukua karibu na wewe na wacha nikwambie mimi niko karibu na wewe tutakata kona pamoja kwa hivyo hata ukiona wale viongozi mjumbe wangu ni yule atuka na south mheshimiwa namo daktari na moitu yuko hapa seneta wangu ndio huyo Viongozi wale wengine ndio hao kutoka sehemu ule mwingine umeona dalili rai iko watu wamefurahi kwa sababu msichana sehemu huo na akilisha Kenya hii na wewe ni kwa sababu ya heshima yako na kuanzia leo nikihakikishia wewe mheshimiwa rais hii mdomo yangu lazima ianze kuongea mazuri juu yako itaanza kuongea mazuri hiyo nimedikilia kwa sababu niko sasa nasikia kwa karibu wakati ule mwingine alikuwa anakusikia nilikuwa mbali lakini sasa hivi tuko na wewe kwa serikali yako nitaongea ile lugha inasikia direct kutoka kwako. Kuna watu walikuwa wakiharibu maongeo hapa katikati. Tukitaka kusikia rais amesema nini wanaharibia hapa katikati. Lakini sasa vile nimekusikia kwa ile muda kidogo tumefanya kazi wewe unania safi kwa waturukana, unania safi kwa wavugaji, unania safi kwa watoto wa, wa kike kwa Kenya hii na mimi ni mmoja wale ninasema nitaweka hiyo agenda na nitasema vizuri. Unajua sisi watu wenye tumetoka hiyo sehemu mwingine kwa hii maneno tunajuanga kuweka maneno mpaka inaeleweka. Na hiyo sasa itakuwa kwa jumuiya hii yetu, mtatetea wewe, tatetea serikali yetu, 
tutatetea wa Kenya tutawafanyia huduma na kwa hivyo mheshimiwa rais na kuhakikishia nikimalizia kuna mambo ya homecoming mheshimiwa rais hao watu wana nataka tu mimi leo na nyinyi hapa nataka mseme mnataka homecoming ama mtaki hebu mseme askia rais mnataka homecoming ama mtaki mheshimiwa rais hiyo mambo ya homecoming wanataka wana mambo mengi mazuri ya kukuelezea wewe kuna mambo mazuri wanataka kusema sana na wewe hii ni Tobo Ngolore is a cultural event flagship ya county hawawezi ama ya royal wakati tutaweka pale lokichar mheshimiwa rais utasikia ukweli ya mambo ya hawa watu na wewe na huyo baba yangu Raila Molo Odinga watawaambia na wataunganisha na watafanya ile mnataka yote kwa hivyo kwa hayo mengi ninajua tu wewe huko muda ituruhusu kwa hivyo katika jumuiya tumeshaongea yale mambo jaramaya ya mheshimiwa governor amesema tulishaanza kuongea na ministries kwa East Africa mambo ya wafugaji mambo ya waturkana mambo ya apokot mambo ya sebei na mambo ya karamojo mheshimiwa rais tumeshaweka mikakati kuna vitu ndogo ndogo imebaki tu projects ambazo zitakuwa zikiwekwa katika mipaka na hayo mambo tumeshapangia na ni kwa sababu ulituahidi kwamba sisi lazima tumalize hayo maneno tulishaanza we are making progress thank you so far Munda kidogo tu ijazo mambo hayo utadhinisha we mwenyewe kwa sababu ni ahadi yako tunatimiza. Kwa hayo na machache Mungu awabariki, Mungu awaneemishe. Asanteni. Asante sana waziri, mheshimiwa rais kwa majina naitwa Rebecca Meano, waziri wa utalii na wanyamapori. Lakini nilipofika hapa Turkana asubuhi nikavalishwa nguo na nikabadilishiwa jina nikaambiwa ninaitwa Rebecca Akwanga. Alafu nikaambiwa baadaye niulize maana ya Akwanga. Mheshimiwa rais yangu ni moja tu kukuhakikishia ya kwamba tunafanya bidii kuongeza watalii waje hapa nchi yetu na sherehe kama hii ya leo ni ya muhimu sana na haijaonekana pahali pengine dunia hii yote tunataka kukuhakikishia kwamba wizara yangu na wale wote wanahusika na utalii tumejadiliana na tumeamua kufanya kazi kabisa la mwisho mheshimiwa rais nimesikia yale yamenenwa juu ya uhusiano ya KWS na watu watrukana na kwa sababu KWS iko katika wizara yangu nikirudi na robi nitaweza kuweka jopo tukishirikiana na mwenzangu yule anasimamia maneno ya uvuvi ili tuweze kushirikiana na viongozi na watu wa tunaweza kati chini kati chini ndugu wananchi wa kaunti yetu na ya Turkana na marafiki zetu kutoka nchi jirani South Sudan kule Ethiopia
pamoja na Uganda Wananchi wa hapa hamjambo Turkana hamjambo Lord wa hamjambo Na 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 Mata Mata na bo Mata eriamun Mata ngide Mata ngakimak Mata Mata eriamun Mata Bwana Nasifiwe Basi Mimi kwanza Sa nataka nichukue nafasi hii Niwashukuru Viongozi pamoja na wananchi wa hapa Turkana County na marafiki zetu wote walio tutembelea siku ya leo We are here to celebrate the inspiring to robust cultural activity bridging the past and the present uniting Kenya's diverse communities into one strong forward-looking nation and connecting Kenya and Africa to the rest of the world. I commend the Turkana County Government for supporting the Turkana Culture and Tourism Festival, famously known as Tobongu Lore, and for facilitating it to project the essential character of these region's communities and their cultures. I also want to assure the organizers of this event, that this year, the government of Kenya has released 49 million shillings to continue to support this event going into the future. In so doing, this culture has enabled the festival to go beyond mere annual celebration and evolve into a continuous project that unites the pastoral communities of northern Kenya and neighboring regions and countries, including West Pokot, Samburu, Marsabit, and Karamoja. The effect of this ambitious vision is to bring into sharp focus the distinct cultural identity of the Turkana people, thus fostering a deeper appreciation of its role and potential to promote diversity and cohesion across borders. This festival has become a central event which goes a long way to position Turkana as a top destination for cultural tourism and northern Kenya as a vast territory of abundant investment potential. Through Tobongulore, local and international visitors come here and come here while coming home to celebrate the wonders of magical Kenya with us, raising the region's profile on the global tourism map. Beyond celebrating our heritage, the festival fulfills the aspirations of many by creating various opportunities and delivering invaluable benefits to the local economy. I appreciate the, consider the consideration given by the organizers to artisans who have found a platform to display traditional material culture and market handcrafted products that reflect the exquisite craftsmanship that Turkana is famous for. I have been through the different displays here of art 
and craft that speak to a great people with a great destiny. Their work enriches the festival and sustains livelihoods, bridging tradition with commerce and connecting enterprising Kenyans with visitors from near and far. Consequently, these artisans serve as our cultural ambassadors, deepening global connections with the Turkana heritage. This festival also serves to reaffirm our commitment to the preservation of the Turkana heritage and indeed all indigenous culture as our legacy to future generations. And in so doing, it enables us to live up to our national cultural policy and align with international frameworks, including UNESCO 2003 Convention for the Safeguarding of Intangible Cultural Heritage and the 2005 Convention on the Promotion of Cultural Diversity. These institutions and instruments are brought to life by the traditions, performances, art, craft, and stories we celebrate here today. Culture, ladies and gentlemen, is not static. Rather, it is a living, creative, and dynamic expression of a society's values and a society's aspirations. The UNESCO frameworks highlight the need to protect traditions passed through generations and promote creativity in a globalized world. Tobongu Lore embodies these principles uniting cultural expression with global connectivity to create economic opportunities and ensure that traditions thrive for years to come. Looking to the future, I am proud to announce that the government of Kenya has embarked on the development of the Kenya Home of Humanity and Home of Human Origins Museum and Science Park a transformative project that will establish, that will be established at Nomortunga in Kalokol as a world-class center for scientific research, cultural tourism, and ecotourism. I did promise when I was here last year, na niliwaeleza ya kwamba mwaka uliopita, ya kwamba nitatengeneza jopo maalum ambayo itashughulika na jambo hili na March mwaka huu 2004 I appointed a presidential task force to work on this aspect to make sure that we harness the great potential of the home of humanity here in Turkana County and make sure that we establish a science park for research for innovation and for tourism here in Turkana County. Scientific discoveries such as the Turkana Boy and the world's oldest stone tools have solidified Kenya's global credentials as the, as the home, as the first home of modern human beings. When completed, the museum and science park will celebrate these milestones, enable visitors to travel back in time to explore the origins of humanity and experience early technology. Turkana County is rich, not only in historic and geographic wonders, but it also abounds with unique wildlife, UNESCO listed sites, as well as the vast Lake Turkana Basin. The project will catalyze complementary investments to enhance infrastructure diversify tourism, and position the region as a hub for research, nature enthusiasts, and adventurers alike. At this festival, this year demonstrates year after year, the community is the engine of growth. The people are the primary stakeholders of our development agenda, even in the cultural and tourism sectors. We are committed to a community-based approach which ensures that residents benefit directly from job creation 
and improved livelihoods. Sustainable utilization of these opportunities will establish Kenya among global leaders in scientific discovery and niche tourism, accelerating economic growth here in Turkana and beyond. The recent recognition of Gedi ruins as a UNESCO World Heritage Site underscores Kenya's position as a top global tourism destination and reaffirms our commitment to preserving cultural and natural heritage. This aligns with our bottom-up economic transformation agenda's emphasis on inclusive growth and empowerment of people and communities at the bottom of the socio-economic ladder. By tapping into the tourism potential at sites like Gedi, we integrate our ambition to deliver prosperity with our vision to protect both ecological diversity and cultural integrity. As we celebrate Tobong Lore, we must also reflect the deep connection between people of Turkana and their land, the unique, diverse, and abundant potential nestled in this region's desert within and around Lake Turkana, including its unique wildlife and other attractions and opportunities, are treasured resources not only for Turkana, but for all of Kenya. We must therefore be mindful of the fact that these plentiful resources are underpinned by fragile ecosystems which require careful management to preserve them for future generations. It is our duty, all of us, to do our part in promoting their sustainability. Ladies and gentlemen, Turkana County and the entire region is fundamental for inclusive growth and for our national transformation agenda. Investments like the Lake Turkana Wind Power Project, which delivers clean energy and creates jobs while respecting environmental stewardship, are firmly aligned with this commitment and our broader vision for Turkana. Here, human talent and enterprise combine with culture and natural wealth to power economic growth. As we enjoy the performances that we have seen here, craft, cuisine, let us remember that Tobong Lore is our collective call to all humanity in our neighborhood, as well as farthest reaches of the earth, to come home and join us as we celebrate with humanity, protect our shared home, and cherish our cultural heritage. Let all the world know that no visa is required to come home and that Kenya is full of magical surprises to delight everyone. The traditions we celebrate today are vehicles for transmitting our values, achievements, and aspirations to future generations. Let us stand together to tell a good story for our future. I invite you all to immerse yourselves fully in the festival, learn from one another, and carry forward the spirit of unity and respect for our shared heritage. Nimeona ni vizuri nisome hii taarifa kwa Kiingereza ndio mjue ya kwamba event hii sio event ya Turkana. Hii event ni event ya kitaifa. Na hii event ni event ya the whole world. This is where humanity began. And we want to profile this event as a global event. <laughs> Next time, we want to have tourists from across the globe coming to attend this event. Because that is the profile. That is the stature. That is the status of this event. The home of human origins is here. Na mimi nataka niwashukuru sana nimesikia viongozi wengi wameongea hapa. Mimi singependa kusema yale mambo wameuliza ni mambo mazuri. Ningependa tu kusema kama mambo matatu ambayo wameulizia. Jambo la kwanza ni mambo ya stima. Naelewa ya kwamba hapa hapa Lodwa tuko na matatizo ya stima. Inafanyiwa rationing saa zingine inapotea na kuna matatizo kiasi. 
na niliwaeleza ya kwamba njia ya kutatua hiyo tatizo ni kuunganisha lodwa na national grid. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Mimi nataka niwatangazie ya kwamba hiyo mpango tumekamilisha na sasa kandarasi tumetoa na sasa tutaanza kujenga um, e, transmission line kuunganisha hii lodwa yenu tayari tumeweka pesa milioni tisa ya kujenga hiyo e, line ya kuja mpaka hapa lodwa mimi nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba najua mumesema ikifika hapa lodwa mnataka iende mpaka kalokol sijui kalokol liko maneno gani kalokol iko maneno ya fisheries Munataka ifike huko? Ngojeni kwanza nifikishe hapa alafu tutapanga vile itafika huko. Ama munasemaje? Munataka iende moja kwa moja? Allah. Nipeleke pole pole. Sawa sawa. Jambo la pili. Nilisema ya kwamba muliniuliza chata ya Turkana University. Si ni kweli? Mimi nataka niwaeleze hivi. Tulisha niliamuru University Commission for University Education waweze kupanga vile tutapatiana chata ya Turkana University. Na kulikuwa na mambo there are some facilities ambayo lazima ijengwe kwa sababu mimi nilisema hatuwezi kutumia njia ya mkato. We cannot use a shortcut to give Turkana University a charter. We must make sure that all the facilities that befit a university must be established in Turkana University so that when we give them a charter, it is a charter that has every meaning like any other charter in Kenya. Shida kidogo tulipata ni kwamba wakati finance bill ilianguka na munajua vile ilianguka. Sindio? Mnajua finance bill ilienda ikapata segemnege hapo ikafanya hivyo. Hapo sasa ndio gapi katokea. Lakini tumekubaliana na mimi nataka wabunge wa Turkana wawe hapa. Nyinyi wabunge simameni ndio tukubaliane na nyinyi. Hawa wadosi hawa ndio wananipangia budget kule bunge. Si namna hiyo? Sasa waheshimiwa. Mimi nitapendekeza milioni sitini ya Turkana University katika supplementary mwezi ujao. Nyinyi mkipitisha bunge, mimi nakuja kutengeneza ile vifaa inahitajika kwa university, alafu chata itafuata. Si tumegawana kazi? Hawa jamaa si watafanya sehemu yao. Wakinipitishia budget, mimi nitakuja kuhakikisha kwamba all the facilities that are required in Turkana University are constructed so that we can give them a charter that is befitting any other charter in the Republic of Kenya. Ketini chini waheshimiwa. Tunaelewana? Jambo la tatu ambayo mumeniuliza ni kwamba mnataka pale Turkana Lake Turkana pia iwe na vifaa kama zile lakes zingine. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Tayari huyu eh, governor wetu nilituma waziri mvuria wamekuja wameongea na huyu governor wenu tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutaweka mpango maalum focusing on Lake Turkana as a resource na hivyo tumeshakubaliana the way forward and we have already established a unit that is going to manage the affairs of Lake Turkana to make it and to exploit the potential that exists in Lake Turkana ya ine mumesema ya kwamba wavuvi wanasumbuliwa pale na watu wa KWS. Ni kweli? Waziri ambaye anasimamia KWS ako katika hii mkutano. Huyu mama mnamuona hapa. Sasa wewe mama panga watu yako ya KWS. Waambie wawachane na wavuvi. Wavuvi waendelee na kazi, waendelee na uvuvi na kazi ya KWS iwe ni kuchunga wasipigwe na waziumizwe na wanyama na wasiumizwe na wakora na mimi nataka niulize governor wenu pamoja na uh, county commissioner wenu county commissioner yuko pale make sure you work with KWS and to the minister here to make sure that the challenge and the problem we have between the fishermen 
and the community and, and the KWS is sorted out so that we can have a harmonious relationship between those uh, countries. Mimi vile vile nataka niwaeleze ya kwamba kwa yale mambo mengine yote ambayo tumekubaliana pamoja na nyinyi mimi niliamua ya kwamba hatutaki Kenya ya ubaguzi hatutaki Kenya ya migawanyiko tunataka tuunganishe taifa letu la Kenya mimi nataka niwaulize nyinyi watu wa Turkana sawa sawa mimi niliamua nikasema nitatengeneza serikali ya kuunganisha wa Kenya wote na nimechukua mpaka na waziri mawaziri kutoka sehemu ya upinzani ni kweli ama si kweli mimi nauliza nyinyi watu wa hapa Turkana mnasema mnataka tuunganishe Kenya ama mnataka tutenganishe tuunganishe ama tutenganishe hebu nione wale wanasema tuunganishe kwa hivyo tumesema hatutaki siasa ya ukabila hatutaki siasa ya migawanyiko hatutaki siasa ya ubaguzi tunataka tuungane kama watu wa taifa moja taifa letu la Kenya na nimesema kwa vyo vyote mbele na nyuma kulia na kushoto nitafanya bidii kuunganisha wananchi wote wa taifa letu la Kenya ndio nguvu yetu na mipango yetu tuelekeze kwa kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunazalisha uchumi tunazalisha nafasi za kazi tunaondoa njaa tunahakikisha kwamba vijana wetu wako na ajira ili Kenya iweze kupiga hatua ya kwenda mbele watu wa lodwa tunakubaliana jameni mimi naelewa ya kwamba mumesema mnataka hii lodwa na hii turkana iwe ni sehemu ya kuzalisha chakula waziri ambaye anasimamia mambo ya development authorities ni huyu mama askul sasa wewe askul wewe mama mturkana mimi nauliza nyinyi kwanza watu wa turkana mimi nilifanya makosa kuweka huyu mama waziri huyu mama anatosha ama atoshi anatosha ama atoshi mimi nafurahi ya kwamba mama mturkana leo anaketi katika baraza la mawaziri ya taifa letu la Kenya kama wa mama wa kutoka jamii zingine wanakaa kwa baraza la mawaziri kwani mturkana hawezi kukaa kwa baraza la mawaziri mama nasikia wanaume wengine hapo wananipigia makelele ati ungejaribu mwanaume huyu mama anatosha ni kweli ama si kweli aendelee ama asiendelee keti mama so tumekubaliana na governor wetu um, my friend Jeremia yuko hapa na governor wa West Pokot Kachapin tumeshakubaliana ya kwamba tuko na maji mingi sana pale Takwen hiyo maji imerudi nyuma karibu kilomita 26 pale tuko na shirika la KVDA wako na ekari 1500 mahali tunaweza kufanya irrigation wewe ya school waziri wangu ambaye unasimamia hiyo mambo sasa wewe nitakusaidia tupange hiyo 50000 acres tuweze kuzalisha chakula ya watu wa West Pokot na watu wa Turkana hii ili ile matatizo hao wa bunge wamesema matatizo ambayo inaleta uhasama kati ya jamii ya Turkana na Pokot tumalize pale wakati tutakuwa tunazalisha chakula kwa pamoja asante sana waziri so tutatembea pamoja katika hiyo barabara so that we can unlock the potential that exists in irrigation in this county and in the neighboring county here in Turkana kwa hivyo mimi nimefurahi sana kufika hapa Turkana na nimefurahi sana viongozi hawa wameongea na wamesema ya kwamba mnataka sisi wote tuungane kama viongozi ndio tuweze kutimiza yale mambo ambayo tumekubaliana na nyinyi mimi nataka nielewe ama nisikie kutoka Turkana. Nyinyi mnataka tushirikiane ama mnataka tutengane? Huyu Jeremia. Huyu Lomurnakai huyu Kamais. Mnasema yeye afanye kazi na mimi ama yeye amangamange na wengine? Huyu jamaa, mnataka yeye afanye kazi na mimi ama mnataka aende ile kikundi ya ule mtu wa bangi? Eh? 
Iko kikundi kingine huko ya watu ambao wanaendesha ule mtu wa bangi anaitwa nini? Ule eh, wachakoya. Mnataka huyu mtu aende kwa grupu ya wachakoya ama akue na mimi hapa tupange mambo ya maendeleo? Tupangane pamoja? Ndio tusonge mbele. Ama mnasemaje watu wa Lodwar? Tuko pamoja? Tunaelewana? Sasa sikizeni. Najua mara nyingi mimi niliwaeleza. Koriai. <laughs> eh? <clears throat> mimi niliwaeleza wacheni kunihepa. Kwa sababu mkipitia hapa mnanikuta niko mbele. Mkipitia hapo mnanikuta mimi ndio huyo. Ama namna gani? Sasa mimi nimepanga mambo yenu. Muko na waziri hapa, muko na PS, muko na ambassador, muko sijui na nani, kila mtu hii serikali karibu inakuwa ya Waturkana. <laughs> eh? Sasa maswali yenu sasa mupunguze. Ama namna gani? Sasa tupange mambo ya maendeleo. Mimi nitarudi hapa. Mimi najua leo pengine kwa sababu ya shughuli, lakini mimi nitarudi hapa nikuje nilale siku mbili ndio tukubaliane na nyinyi. Tumekubaliana? Tunaelewana? Koriai. <laughs> Let us promote our national and international commitments to preserve culture, heritage and honor our cultural diversity ensuring it remains a source of pride and inspirations for years to come. I am truly truly grateful and happy to be part of this international event to Bongolo as we celebrate the home of humanity. Thank you very much. God bless you. Mungu wabariki. Na ninawapenda sana. Tumekubaliana jameni? Wajeni kidogo. Tuketi kidogo. Sasa, mi naotaka niwauliza watu wa Lodwa. Mumekubali tuunganishe team yetu ikue team moja? Yes. Mumekubali? Yes. Tuunganishe iwe team moja? Yes. Ebu nione wala anasema tukue team moja? Kabisa, eh? Tutembee pamoja? Sasa huyu Munyes mnasema ni mpange. Na ndugu yangu Elodepe. Ni wapange. Najua nilikuwa nimeona nimepanga panga nikasema acha nilete kwanza kina school wakuja hapa. Nilete kwanza ule Erastas yeah, lokale ambaye alikuwa speaker wenu nikampanga hapo. Kapanga wengine. Sasa hawa ndio wadosi watakuja nyuma. So nipangane na hawa. Yes. Abisa. Yes. Alafu nipange nyinyi vijana pia. Yes. Kwa ile kazi mtaani. Yes. Mnasema ni wapange pale. Yes. <laughs> so mimi nataka nimkaribishe rafiki yangu mheshimiwa John Munyes. Asimame hapa na mimi. Huyu ndugu yangu John. So mnakubali tufanye kazi na huyu John Jameni? kwa timu moja hebu yeah. nisikie sauti ya waturkana wakisema ndio yeah. na wale teammates wake wengine wote yeah. eh bas mimi nataka niseme asante sana watu wa turkana watu wa lodwar mimi nitarudi hapa tena tushirikiane na tutembee pamoja Asanteni sana Mungu awabariki. Thank you very much and God bless you. Naomba sote wananchi ya Turkana University katika supplementary mwezi ujao. Nyinyi mkipitisha bunge, mimi nakuja kutengeneza ile vifaa inahitajika kwa university, alafu chata itafuata. Si tumegawana kazi. Hawa jamaa si watafanya sehemu yao. Wakinipitishia budget, mimi nitakuja kuhakikisha kwamba all the facilities that are required in Turkana University are constructed so that we can give them a charter that is befitting any other charter in the Republic of Kenya. Ketini jini waheshimiwa. Tunaelewana? Jambo la tatu 
ambayo mumeniuliza ni kwamba mnataka pale Turkana Lake Turkana pia iwe na vifaa kama zile leks zingine ni kweli ama si kweli tayari huyu eh, governor wetu nilituma waziri mvuria wamekuja wameongea na huyu governor wenu tumekubaliana ya kwamba tutaweka mpango maalum focusing on lake turkana as a resource na hivyo tumeshakubaliana the way forward and we have already established a unit that is going to manage the affairs of lake turkana to make it and to exploit the potential that exists in lake turkana ya ine mumesema ya kwamba wavuvi wanasumbuliwa pale na watu wa KWS ni kweli waziri ambaye anasimamia KWS ako katika hii mkutano huyu mama mnamuona hapa sasa wewe mama panga watu yako ya KWS waambie wawachane na wavuvi wavuvi waendelee na kazi waendelee na uvuvi na kazi ya KWS iwe ni kuchunga wasipigwe na waziumizwe na wanyama na wasiumizwe na wakora na mimi nataka niulize governor wenu pamoja na uh, county commissioner wenu county commissioner yuko pale make sure you work with KWS and to the minister here to make sure that the challenge and the problem we have between the fishermen and the community and, and the KWS is sorted out so that we can have a harmonious relationship between those uh, countries Mimi vile vile nataka